It is a beautiful building. You know, it's got a lot of history to it. Um, it's got a lot of culture behind it. So I think it's an historical place you have to uh, see when you come to London because we are tourists and we want to see also these uh, monuments of the history here in London. And it's, uh, yeah, on the one hand, an amazing view to look at. And on the other hand, we want to find out a little bit more of the history. Today, we're looking at remarkable buildings. And we've come to one of London's most iconic and historic sites, the Tower of London. Daniel is the education officer here. And he's agreed to show us around. Daniel, should we go and have a look? Let's go. So Daniel, can you give me a potted history of the Tower of London? Yes, absolutely. Um, the tower is just over 900 years old. Um, the first part of the tower to be built was the White Tower just behind me here, which um, would have stood alone 950 years ago. It was built by um, King William I, or King William the Conqueror, as he was known, um, and it was really built to subdue the city of London, which in those days would have been just to our west over here. So to make a real statement that, that the new power has arrived, William set about building castles up and down the country. This one behind me here is one of the last castles that he built and certainly one of the most grand because, as you can see, it's made of stone and very few buildings in London, very few buildings in the country, in fact, at that time were built of stone and it was by far the tallest building in London as well, standing at roughly uh, 90 foot tall when most of the Anglo-Saxon housing here was made of wood, was made of mud and was a single storey high. So how does design and function marry in the Tower of London? Well, it's a very interesting question, especially in relation to the White Tower, because we can look at it today and it looks fairly functional. It looks like a keep or a fortress um, really used for repelling invaders. But when it was built, it was very much um, the most magnificent royal palace in the country. Just little things like the, um, the, uh, the arches over the windows were um, very much considered unnecessary decoration. What's the big pull for tourists when they come here? What's the most exciting area for them? Um, the Tower of London, although it has a fascinating past as a royal palace and a fortress, the thing that draws visitors here most often is the tower's function as a prison and as an occasional place of execution as well. What's the most famous event that took place between these walls? The most famous event was probably the trial and execution of Henry VIII's second wife, Queen Anne Boleyn. Uh, she married the king in 1533 um, and the night before her coronation, in fact, she spent the night here at the tower. Uh, three years later, she was brought back to the same great hall, uh, this time for her trial. And eventually, in May of 1536, she was taken up to Tower Green, where she was the first Queen of England ever to be executed. I only just arrived and I think it's just fascinating. It's just amazingly old and just to see something that has been around for so long is unbelievable because, you know, Captain Cook didn't come to Australia until 1770. So to see something that's just centuries old is unbelievable. It is remarkable. It's for the age that it was built in and for what the people must have been through to build, build such a thing. Yeah, it is remarkable.